Welcome to our Open Day webinar on Mining Engineering Programs at Federation University. My name is Helen, I'm part of the Future Students team and I'll be your webinar host for this event. Joining me today is Dr Greg Yu, Senior Lecturer and Program Coordinator in Mining Engineering. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands and waters where our campuses, centres and field stations are located and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. We extend this respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and First Nations peoples. A reminder that we'll be running live Q&A sessions throughout Open Day alongside our online chat service. You can find the Q&A schedule on the Open Day homepage. Alternatively, you can contact us via any of the communication channels listed in the final slide. Our mining engineering programs are delivered through our Mount Helen campus in Ballarat in Western Victoria. This is our largest Ballarat campus. It's located in a bush setting near Mount Buninyong. The Mount Helen campus has student accommodation available starting at around $200 a week and you can also take advantage of free car parking on campus. The campus is well served by public transport so it allows easy access to Ballarat, Melbourne, Geelong and Western Victoria. Engineering labs are in a purpose-built facility known as Y Building on the southern edge of the campus and students have easy access to study spaces either in the Y Building, in our student commons or the library and can take advantage of all of our on-campus facilities, things like our new gym, our swimming pool and the cafeteria. There are four mining engineering programs at Federation University. The Bachelor of Engineering Honours Mining Program it is a four-year undergraduate program. Undergraduates will be eligible for professional engineer. The second one is graduate diploma of mining program. It's a two-year postgraduate program. And the third one is the master of engineering technology mining program. It is a two-year postgraduate program. And the fourth one is a doctor of philosophy engineering. It is a three-year PhD program by research. Thanks Greg. So let's have a look at the entry requirements. Our Bachelor of Engineering Mining Honours is a four-year degree. As a Year 12 student you will need to have completed your VCE and achieved a minimum study score of 20 in Units 3 and 4 in English and in Math Methods or Specialist Maths. Selection is based on ATAR and Season Subject Adjustments apply. Federation University has guaranteed ATARs. This means you're guaranteed a place in the degree provided you meet the prerequisites and achieve an ATAR of 60. If you've completed an unscored VCE or VCAL or didn't achieve the required ATAR and prerequisite study scores, consider the pathways. These include the Diploma of Engineering Technical through Federation TAFE, which offers you some credit into your engineering degree. And another pathway for students who don't meet the entry requirements is the Foundation Access Studies Program or FAST for Engineering, Maths and Science. Non-Year 12 applicants are considered on their full educational or work history. Again, if you don't meet the entry requirements initially, use the pathways to get to your degree. I'd encourage everyone to have a chat today with our scholarships team or at least get onto our scholarships website for information on what's available for our engineering students. Some scholarships are awarded automatically and this in particular is the High Achievers Scholarship. It's based on academic achievement but there's others. There's the Scholarship for Rural and Regional Students. Applications are open now and they close on the 23rd of October. There's also Engineering Scholarship and a Women in Engineering Scholarship, which is awarded by the School of Engineering, Information Technology and Physical Sciences. If we have some audience members here that qualify for, as international students, there's scholarships there for you too. So jump into federation.edu.au slash scholarships or go to their chat site and have a look at what's available. There's a wide range of equity scholarships available also. You really need to go in and have a look. And a final thing, our Bachelor of Engineering Mining Honours does hold professional accreditation with Engineers Australia. Industrial placement or professional study. 
This is compulsory for students in the Bachelor of Engineering Honors Program. It is basically a three months or 12 weeks vocational job in the industry. Students are responsible to have a professional study by themselves, to so look for a vocational job and uh, complete it in the industry. As we have uh, many industry connections, demands for industry pr placement from the mining industry were normally sent to me or to the mining engineering program, and then I will send them to the student for the student to have uh, more options to select from for the industry placement. Yes, the industry placements are a compulsory component for our mining engineering students in achieving their qualification. We see students making exceptional industry connections and building their professional network in the workplaces that host them over that 12-week placement. The placements that our students undertake contribute to a broad range of functions. Some examples of the work undertaken include participation in field or laboratory work, undertaking design calculations, writing technical summaries and reports, participation in safety briefings and inspections, assisting with project management. It's the opportunity for the student to put the theory that they've learned in their degree into practice in a professional engineering environment. And we're so lucky that our academic team have such good professional networks that they can, if necessary, support our students in sourcing a placement. So a quick look at our graduate diploma in mining and our Master of Engineering Technology Mining Engineering. The graduate diploma was created with a working engineer in mind, so it's intended as continuing education for scientists and engineers already involved within the mining industry. And it's just building on knowledge already gained from your invaluable industry experience. The Master of Engineering Technology Mining Engineering is a professionally oriented program. So it provides you with the knowledge and the skills that are necessary to obtain employment as an engineer and be admitted as a member with Engineers Australia. So it also serves as preparation for further graduate studies in technology, business, administration and other areas. career opportunities in Australian mining industry. Graduates from the mining engineering program will normally start from graduate mining engineer in mining companies, include many local mining companies and of course international mining houses. Graduates can also be consultants in mining consulting companies and there are many other career opportunities in professionals in mining associated organizations and uh, interdisciplines, including mining software companies as a mining specialist, mining equipment and new technology companies, for example, robot application in the mining industry, they also need uh, mining graduates, investment and uh, environmental and safety companies related to mining, government organizations such as planning, safety, and the environment departments related to mining engineering. They also need mining graduates. Career opportunities are available to both domestic and uh, international students. Australia, Australia is an open country and uh, there are equal opportunities to each of us. I had a look at the Australian Government Job Outlook website for mining engineers. It's suggesting future growth is strong, so that's great news for anybody looking at starting now. Our graduates are employed at mines across Australia. In Victoria, the boys in orange here at Fosterville in Bendigo. And in the top right hand corner, some of our students undertaking work experience at CGT in Ballarat. And on the left there, Jason is now working for Newmont in the United States. You'll find our graduates all over the world and there certainly is a demand, we notice every year, for mining engineers. Our academics at Federation are approachable and focused on having their students succeed in their career goals. They have an open door policy and welcome students to come and talk with them um, and discuss any issues arising from their studies. Let's find out a little bit more about Greg. 
my own experience with the mining engineering at the Federation University. I originated from China and joined the Federation University in year 2006. It is now about uh, 15 years. I like finding better ways to do things. In other words, keep learning and uh, exploring or study and research together with you, new and fresh minds at the Federation University. I like to go to Yuli Sports and the uh, Student Activity Center, do gym, swimming, and uh, playing table tennis. Federation University is a place for students and staff to grow and uh, to prosper. This photo you see here is uh, I was attending a conference in Cairo, Egypt. The mining engineering program at the Federation University is multicultural and international. Faculties are of a diversified intellectual background. In fact, all academic staff in the mining engineering program are from international, and the admin staff has a lot of experience for both domestic and international students. Many of our students in the mining engineering program are from international. The mining engineering program at Federation University has more than 150 years history in mining education and training. It provides close student and teacher and student to the industrial engagement. There are active class engagement in lectures and tutorials. There are plenty of hands-on practices, including laboratory experiments field trips and industrial professional studies or vocational jobs and uh, professional associations primarily with uh, us IMM and uh, Engineers Australia. It is, provides career opportunities in Australian mining industry, including attractive salary package, working in the modern mining industry or for High tech, including computer based design, artificial intelligence, robots, and so on. Importantly, there are sustained and strong demand for talents or graduates in the mining engineering. Again, thank you for your attention and welcome you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Mining Engineering Federation University of Australia. Bye bye. Thank you, Greg. And thank you everyone for tuning into our webinar today. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.